Hello, my friends, and welcome. I'm Jeff Beveridge, Project Management and Leadership Trainer with Corner Post Management Experts, coming at you today with another delicious, refreshing fact snack to feed your appetite for learning and fuel your appetite for future learning. In today's fact snack, we're going to talk about activity relationship types on your project schedule. And this comes out of something called the precedence diagramming method, right? This is a technique within project schedule management for putting our project activities or tasks into sequence, right? Putting them in their logical order based on their dependencies. And in order to put our activities into a logical sequence, we need to understand what are those relationships between two activities. So we're going to talk about four relationship types here. We're going to talk about finish to start relationships where the predecessor activity has to finish before the successor can start. We're gonna talk about finish to finish relationships where the dependency lives at the end, the predecessor has to finish before the successor can finish. Start to start, we will talk about how the relationship type lives at the beginning of the activities. The predecessor activity must start before the successor activity can start. And then finally, a start to finish relationship type, where actually what we're saying is that the successor activity, the second activity must start before the predecessor, the first activity, can officially finish. So we're going to take a closer look at each one of these relationship types. And let's start with the most common relationship type. We're going to start with the finish to start relationship. And as we said, this is the most common. Task A must finish before task B can start. There's a logical dependency that says I have to do A before I can do B. In this example, we see task A is tuning up the lawnmower, task B is mowing the lawn. So task A, tuning up the mower, must finish before task B can start, before mowing the lawn can actually start, right? I need to actually put the mower back together. I need to put the blades back on. I need to put all the, tighten all the screws and bolts and nuts and so forth. I need to finish tuning up the mower before I can start mowing the lawn. So we see we have a finish to start relationship. The next relationship type we're going to look at is finish to finish. And this is where we're saying that there is a dependency between the two activities, but that dependency is at the end of each activity. In this case, our two activities are task A, mow the lawn, and task B, blow off the sidewalks, right? blow off the sidewalks from the grass clippings that the lawnmower pushes onto them, right? So what we're saying here is that task A, mowing the lawn, must finish before task B, blowing off the sidewalks, can finish, right? I could actually do them at the same time. I could have somebody with the, with the leaf blower or the grass blower walking right behind the lawnmower, right? Blowing off the grass as it goes onto the sidewalks, but there's no possible way that I could finish blowing off the sidewalks until I have finished mowing the lawn, finished putting the grass onto the sidewalks in the first place. So this is a finish to finish relationship where the dependency lives at the end of each activity. The next activity type or relationship type that we want to look at is a start to start relationship. Now we're saying the dependency lives at the beginning of the two activities. We have task A, we have to unload our equipment. We've got our landscaping truck, it's got a bunch of equipment on it and we have to unload that equipment. And then task B, we can do the work. We can actually start to perform the work, right? So task A must start before task B can start. I have to start unloading that equipment, regardless of if I finish it. I don't necessarily have to finish it, right? But I have to at least start unloading the equipment before I can start doing the work, right? Somebody could take one uh, weed whacker off of that truck and they could go off and start doing the work while the rest of the crew finishes unloading the equipment. So in this case, task A for unloading the equipment must start before task B can start, before task B performing the work, doing the work can start. Start to start relationship where the dependency lives at the beginning of the activities. 
And then finally, the least common relationship type is a start to finish relationship. And this time we're actually kind of going backwards. What we're saying here is that the second activity must start before the first activity can finish. And this would be a case where we want there to be some sort of overlap. So think about a security guard shift. We've got 24 hour security coverage, but between the night shift and the day shift or the day shift going into the night shift, right? We don't want these two security guards high-fiving each, uh, each other in the parking lot, right? We want there to be overlap between the two sh security shifts. So what we're saying is that task B, the successor, the night shift, which comes after the day shift, right? The night shift must start before the day shift can finish, before task A, the day shift, which sequentially came first before it can officially finish, right? The night shift guard needs to be on duty before the day shift card guard can go off duty. So in this case, it's a start to finish relationship where the dependency is the second activity, the successor must start before the predecessor, before the first activity can officially finish. So again, recapping, we've got the finish to start relationship. This is hands down the most common. Task A must finish before task B can start. Then we have two kind of similar relationship types in finish finish or start start where the relationship or the dependency lives at either the beginning or the end of the relationship. So finish finish, task A must finish before task B can finish. Start start, the relationship is at the beginning, task A must start before task B can start. And then finally start to finish, the least common relationship type where task B, the successor, the second activity, task B must start before task A can finish, task A being the predecessor, the activity that actually came first, right? And we'll talk about in a future Knowledge Snack video something called leads and lags, where we'll, we'll see why this is the least common relationship type, this start to finish relationship, because we can actually describe the same thing using a finish to start relationship with leads and lags. For, so join us again for a future fact snack video where we talk about those leads and lags within this precedence diagramming method. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this delicious, refreshing fact snack. As always, we want you to click like, share, follow, subscribe, whatever button they've got on whatever platform you're using. You can come visit us anytime at cornerpostmanagement.com for more delicious, refreshing fact snacks, as well as a ton of other great free resources. I'm Jeff Beveridge, and I hope to see you real soon.